bridges are coming, bridges are coming. Head to realcivilengineer.com to order your knitted Bridgemas sweater now. Hello fellow engineers and welcome to City Skylines 2 where today we're going to be taking our city building underwater as we attempt to engineer an Atlantis style city. So first off we need to find a map that has plenty of sea. I reckon Barrier Island looks pretty good for this. We'll then name our city, we'll turn on all money and all unlocks and then we'll load the game. So here we are on the map. Now this is where we usually start. We have this. You can see there's not actually, well actually there is quite a lot. I was, was going to say, there's not a lot of sea here, but there actually is. Uh, but ideally, I want to be like in the proper sea. I want to be like over here rather than just in a little lake. And because I've unlocked everything, I have the opportunity to buy all of that stuff. So let's buy all of these tiles. I then probably need a path from the land as well. So we'll buy all of those. Best 184 grand I ever spent. And then we can start looking at how can we actually make this Atlantis. Now, first thoughts are we make a coffer dam. So if we come down to here, the landscaping tab, we actually have unlimited landscaping. Like it doesn't cost anything in this game. So I think what I want to do, we want to take level to rain tool. And then wherever I right click, that will sort of set the level. So since you want to be somewhat higher than the land, and since we're making like walls, let's right click there. And then when we come out this way, oh no, I just realized there's a shipping lane in the middle of where my Atlantis is going to go. Oh, well, that's not my problem. That's their problem. But yeah, if I just mark like where I want this to go roughly, so something like that, that I'm just going to do like dots opposite and then I'll curve it all up afterwards. But yeah, basically I've made, I've made the land come up to exactly where we want. Meaning the inside of this, I should be able to pump this out and then the outside should stay wet. And that's exactly what we want from Atlantis. Ah, and I appear to have found an issue with what I'm trying to do. I think you can't raise land where shipping lanes are. Yeah, look at that. You've got a hole straight through Atlantis. Not <laughs> ideal. So we need to... <laughs> We need to now move this whilst keeping that in mind. But uh, before we do that, I did just want to do like a small little test just to make sure I can actually pump the water out. Because again, this is brand new game. It's not City Skylines 1. And when I did this in City Skylines 1, I actually, I used a mod, like a super, a super strong pump. That might not work. So let's go to water and sewage. We then want water pumping stations. And then we want to shove those down like that. Can I upgrade these at all? No. Oh my goodness. Look how deep it is. Oh boy, that's a lot of water, right? Anyway, these need roads annoyingly, but we can put that in. I remember the road has given it a pipe to connect to under the ground. So I think this should be pumping. Ah, except it's not because look, it needs electricity. So can we shove a wind turbine on here? Wind speed too low. Oh, that is not ideal. Maybe I can get a geothermal plant down. It's got to go in groundwater, so up there will be fine. And because this is geothermal, this should always produce electricity. I don't need to, like, bring it fuel, like, coal or anything. All right, okay, so now we just got to road this up. Then question, can I use electric power cables to take the power across the sea? Oh, yeah, we can. Look, <laughs> I did not think that would work. But nice, we've got... <laughs> We got wooden pylons across the sea like that. But yeah, that now means that this is up and running, although it does have no employees. Now, what I was thinking for my actual Atlantis was I'd build like a tunnel over to them. I didn't think about how I'd get people over in order to just build it. Well, not even build it, just pump it. So what I may do is find like the best bridges in the game. I mean, that should do the trick. Check that. Actually, what the? What have I done here? <laughs> What's happened to my foundations? My bridge pillars are all, well, they're, they're just not. They don't, don't exist. Still, from the road, looks like a very, very grand bridge, which is what I was aiming for. Then I can connect that together and that together. And then down here, once I connect this highway up, we can then start getting some people down. So let's get some high density living, some low density living, and all the other types of living in between, as well as all the other stuff like schools and high schools and hospitals and boring. Oh, and I've just found this. Advanced water pumping station. This extracts water faster than the normal pumping station. So I should probably try and shove one of these on somewhere. So let's just make a bigger pad like that. Shove the pump thing in there like that. Right. And then hopefully as 
people start using water. Oh no, they don't have water. Why don't they have water over there? Does our bridge not carry? Oh, our bridge doesn't carry anything. All right, drainage across the sea. Go. Okay, everyone. Yes, everyone is connected now. You can finish building your buildings. Oh my god, look at the size of that. But what's, why is that so tall? <laughs> That is so tall. Anyway, I've built all of this. We've only got a... We've got a population of 20 people at the moment. I mean, it is flying up, thankfully. So we should see... Yeah, there we go. Lots of people arriving. Danny Aaron's in his caravan. And what I'm hoping is they will start using up water, which means these will be pumping away. And we should hopefully see the water level of this side dip lower than the side on the left. Um, alternatively, I have just had a little thought, quite an engineering thought as well, about how I could do this a different way. Because remember, I need to move this anyway, because blooming, blooming shipping line. But yeah, right. Now we've flattened what we had. My other solution, I've just realized, like, this is a circle tool. So if I just make it really big, oh, it only goes, it only goes to a thousand. Still, what I can do is literally just build like that. And then I have like, I've just built an island. And then I can just drop this. And if I just just right click down there to select like the, the sea level then when i press in the middle oh yes we've cut a donut out although was it leaking it's not leaking okay i can definitely make an atlantis city and this is how i'm gonna do it i just need it to be way bigger so we Find where the top edge of that shipping lane is. Oh, we're quite good. Okay, it goes to there. So if we make that the top of our the top of our Atlantis, go to the bottom about there. And then we just try and circle this up. Now drawing circles by hand, not my strongest attribute. I mean, unless it's attached to another circle and something in the middle, it's <laughs> It's quite difficult. However, what I plan on doing is when I've got the rough outline like that, I can use roads. So I think what I want to do, I want to go from the middle and then just go this way. We'll make that number down there. Seven. Can we get 700? 704. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so then we go, we go 90 degrees over to the right. We want to get to 704. Or annoyingly, it snaps to seven. I mean, it's not snapping to any. It's going mental. There we go. Seven o four. Wait, what? What's the distance? To, why is it going longer and longer? I'm not even moving my mouse. It's now a kilometer long. Apparently, I don't understand. One point two kilo. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going, little UI thing? Oh, it's disappeared. Now I don't know how long it is at all. Anyway, that's 704, I'm pretty sure. So we'll do the same out this direction. Same out the bottom. Boosh. And then I get to pick some external roads. Do I want a highway around the edge? I do, oh, seven lane one way road. <laughs> I would love that around the edge of Atlantis. Okay, we'll try an eight lane divided road. Now what I want to do, I want to select this tool here, the simple curve. I can then select there. And then I want to go 90 degrees straight up like that until I intersect with the end of this. So that should be 704 like that. So I click there. And then I come over to this point. And if this snaps in like that, that's 704. You can see 90 degrees up the top as well. So boosh. And then that should be a perfect quarter of a circle. So if I just do that the entire way around, then we end up with this, which I think is a perfect circle. And so now is the bit I'm really hoping does work. If I delete these in the middle, so we have that, we can see how badly my eye drawn circle is. But yeah, we should now be able to shift terrain tool and I can shift this down as deep as I want my Atlantis to go. So I reckon that deep would be pretty good. So let's grab that level, flatten the rest of it. Oh no, oh, water keeps appearing but then disappearing. But yeah, I think I can go right up to the edge of the road and then we, oh, we do get a perfect circle. Although it is sort of leaking. Um, <laughs> Is that actually leaking or is it just, ah, it's just like graphics. Like some angles it's leaking some angles it's really not All right i do wonder could i like can i get my head underwater no i can't i was hoping i could go underwater to try and like try and make the externals a little bit taller all right well that's the best i could do <laughs> We definitely, we definitely have a leak down this side. I'm wondering, could I use like the slope terrain tool? So if I slope, I think I can click like right click down there, make my brush smaller and then start up there. And then it should, yeah, we've done like a slope like that. So if I just work around doing this sort of thing and this should maybe sort of help the walls from flooding. I mean, it, <laughs> it still looks very floody down here. 
Okay, instead then, is it worth just adding like a width? Like, is this going to stop my walls from flooding? Yeah, so far, appears appears not. What if I add the width on the inside as well? So we go around doing this sort of thing. Then, oh no, they're still flooding. If I add a slope down, can I see what's going on? Actually, is that? I think that is getting rid of it, is it? Right, okay, if we now level this back, has that got rid of the water? No, I don't think it has. Oh boy, that left a lot of water. How did that water all get in? Okay, meanwhile, what's happened? over here has this water gone down at all oh no the pumping doesn't seem to be doing anything so perhaps water doesn't actually get pumped in this game oh man okay this is legit filling up now i think we need to go back to just completely get rid of all of it Fill it all back in. There we go. All right, this time I'm going to make it... Oh, God. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And then I'm going to cut to the road. Now, you can see there's water in there. But when I let go, that water does disappear. So, was it a depth thing? So, if we go deeper we see water but no then it disappears okay interesting interesting let's go closer to the edge all right is there still oh hang on hang on i did see a little bit of water sneaking in there was it actually leaking though all right so just going as thick as the roads that causes water to come in that's fine i can deal with that and i mean to be fair it does legit make sense that that happens i think what i'm gonna do then i'm gonna attempt to do the outside like that and oh has that made the inside side leak why is this road under that makes no sense <laughs> how is this road flooded it's higher than the sea something tells me this game wasn't meant to be played like this all right so the majority of this looking pretty snazzy um this side not not doing great I, oh wow there's a tornado in the background <laughs> right finally got it drained finally got it dry although there's a little little bit of water there my technique to get rid of it is just to sort of do a bit of that wait for the water to come off the road yeah like that and then you just fill it back in and then water disappears no one ever knows nice okay so now we're going to use the, the shift terrain tool we're going to just do a circle from the middle and then we're going to level this out so we've just got like a little width around the outside then i'm going to plant it with like trees and plants and stuff right okay there we have it now i'm not gonna lie walls don't look great from this sort of angle as we get closer though you can see it is just a graphical thing it is very very dry down here yeah, and the perfect place to build a new city so people might have a go at me with this but let's delete everything we had here including the bridge so sorry bridge you're you're out of there honestly now i've deleted a bridge i can see youtube demonetizing me it's disgusting behavior i'm not gonna lie but i've got to get rid of all of this all this seabed work i did we don't want that we don't want that we just want our lovely atlantis okay that's good now in order to get everyone that lives over there into here we're gonna have to well in a word sorry everyone we're gonna have to delete the loss of you hey at least if i delete everyone out of existence they won't complain anymore because there's a lot of warning symbols right now right i think that's everything deleted which means we can then take this highway which goes over this bridge i'm of course i'm leaving the bridge but then we're going to go into a tunnel in order to get to atlantis so two-way traffic we're going underground right okay so i think i want to come up somewhere i mean it doesn't really matter where i come up we'll come up there for now i think i'll take the other highway back exactly the same sort of thing All right and then we're connected nice so everyone can make it here now via road via these two tunnels i think what i want to do though i want to try and find the middle so just go from there 90 degrees over to there 1.4 kilometers decent and then do the same over that way All right okay so that is the middle we have a pillar down there so we know that that is what we want to be the absolute middle of the city so i'm just going to mark around here like that sort of thing you can see i'm just using the edge of this white line to line up with the edge of the pillar like that so that's those done then we can select the simple curve and then just go from there 90 degrees up to there and then oh no that's not <laughs> that's not the most circle of circles all right well, anyway i've now got that in the middle and i think i'm just gonna try and do like a circular city like this yeah i think this could work this could work okay we're cooking on gas now we are definitely cooking on gas yes look at that look at that 
that. All right, okay, roads are in. The trouble is we don't have any services over here, so we're going to have to try and link those up. Now, if I just swap these roads, which I think are highways, we don't want highways, we want two-lane roads. They have services underneath, so that will be lovely. Cool, we now have that, so let's just... Grab a sewage pipe from there. Take it all the way. Wait, where am I taking this actually? I haven't even thought this through. I mean, I guess we add some water towers in the middle for our water source. So now we have water. We then need housing and stuff. So what I'm thinking, we go high density in the middle. We then do medium density around there. Medium density with shops around there. And get some high density offices. And some more medium density. Then the low density. Then on this downstream end, we're going to need commercial, annoyingly. Didn't want to put commercial down here, but don't really have a choice. Uh, oh, then everyone's complaining there's no electricity. Oh, and there's, there's no rest of poo either. So wastewater treatment plant, we can definitely get that down. Electricity, can we fit a geothermal? No, they're huge geothermals. What about a solar plant? Oh my god, what? They're so big. All right, well, we may just need to add wind turbines around the outside. It says wind speed too low, but it does also say like 0.96 out of 5 megawatts. If we press play, yeah, look, they are moving. Oh, that's fine. We'll just shove those around the outside. And I think this is the first time of use like wind power. I feel like City Skylines 1, I used it like every single city. But in this game, the sequel, it's been a little bit trickier to use. Still, they are in now. We have power down here. Cars are coming from the outside world to Atlantis. I love to see it. I need to get some, let's get some shops in here. So I think commercial buffer between the industrial and the residential. All right, and then all in this gap, we're just going to add like all the other things we need. So we need schools, we need hospitals, hospitals, fire stations, police stations, waste processing. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pay people to be educated. So if you're educated, you uh, you actually gain 10% tax. All right, then I'll just shove a few of these tall buildings down. All right, and then there we go. There is, there is Atlantis. Just ignore the pollution down there and the people dying. I forgot to build a crematorium. Oh, actually, I can build a crematorium because they don't take up too much space face. He says struggling to find a place where it can go. But yeah, considering we're completely out at sea, I quite like this place. It's got quite a lot going on for it. Shame about the leaking walls. But remember, as we get close to them, they do they do disappear. And I'm not going to lie, as you're walking around, if you're like, oh, I'll just hop on my motorbike, go for a little drive. Like, maybe don't look that way. That way is quite terrifying. But looking at everything else, it's quite a lovely place. We got some really tall buildings going on. Bit of a skyline in City Skylines for once. We got like sports pitches. We've got good internet thanks to these satellites. But most of all, we managed to build a city at the bottom of the ocean. And we stayed completely dry physically, not visually. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed Atlantis. Now, I know I enjoyed making it. Will I enjoy destroying it though? Well, that is a question I'm about to answer because let's just hit pause a sec. Let's delete a few turbines over here. Delete these roads. Let me go into landscaping, get level terrain tool, right click down there and then just get rid of that wall. Uh, and then we press play and we see what happens if... <laughs> There are tsunamis in this game. I did not think you could make a tsunami. I thought water physics weren't a thing. Oh my goodness, look at the wave coming in. Look at all the people getting destroyed. Oh wow, what a sight. Oh, it's disappeared. It's disappeared. All right, let's just watch that motorbike. He's just drove straight into it. He didn't even break. Look out behind you, mate. Look out behind you. Oh, wow. I've just gone underwater and look, actually, all the buildings, they have been destroyed. I didn't think they got destroyed, but they do. So, yeah, we've completely mullered this place now. Let's try and get back above sea level. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, it looks like I've pulled the plug on Atlantis. Anyway, for now, I'll say peace, love, and end Atlantis. Bye, guys.